Hello. So I'd like to talk about how to duplicate these legs, because it is something that you need to know how to do, and it is something that's not obvious if you're a newcomer. So what you need to do is you need to select both the mesh and the armature, and you need to be in object mode. So this is the armature, and that's the mesh, and I've selected them. You hit Shift D to duplicate it. So far, so good. That is what you would expect. And uh, in fact, it still works just fine like this. So if we were to grab one of these, you can see that it still animates. The problem is, this is two completely different armatures, and you really don't want to muck around with multi-armature animation um, unless you know exactly what you're doing. So we need to make these armatures the same armature. Let's go ahead and go back into object mode, select both of these bones, and hit Control j to join them. Oops. We broke our leg. The, uh, the, the leg that we made is actually hidden in the back. This is the leg. So if we go and we animate the um, these guys here with the pose mode here, let go pose mode. This works, but this does not. Now why is that? Well, a big reason for it is that we've lost track of the armature we were using. It doesn't update the link. So if we select the same armature from the drop-down list, we should... Oh, but it animates off of the first set of bones, not the second set. Now the reason for that is because these are all stored in text. When this when this bone tries to figure out what it's linked to, each vertex has an actual physical name that it that it's linked to. It says, "I'm linked to the bone named bone underscore o o one." So when we merge these two together, they have the same bone names. See, there's bone o eight, but this one's bone o two. Wait a second, what happened? Well, because they had the same bone name when we merged them, let's back up, and do I have enough undos? Just enough. There we are. So now this is named, pause mode, now this is named Bone02, but it was named Bone08 when I joined them. That's because two bones can't have the same name, specifically because the meshes use the bone's name as their way of remembering what they're linked to. So the way to join these together is to rename all of these bones. And this is a little bit tedious, but it's better than um, re-rigging everything every time. So bone two, uh, and generally speaking, I just used a two because I wasn't thinking. You don't want to use the same numbering system, so uh, we'll just say B. Um, and we'll just have each limb be a different letter rather than a different number. That way uh, we won't develop any bad habits where we might accidentally uh, name bones something that ends up colliding. Because if we had said 2, then in theory if we ever had a bone 12, then that would be bad. Alright, so now they all have a different name. And if we link these bones together now, using object mode, Control j what? It still looks like it's broken. Well, it's not. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on here. We go into pose mode, and we move this, and nothing's happening. Well, you might remember that the original bone, uh, sorry, the original mesh here, it loses track of its armature. We can reselect the armature. And now, oh, it still animates fine. But it's not in the right spot. What's up with that? Well, as you might remember, when we first created this armature, we duplicated it, and then we dragged it to the side. We need to apply that location transform, because although that location transform gets baked into the join of the armature, it does not get baked into the join of the mesh. So you have to apply it before you join them. And that's a, that's a trick that I don't think you'll find very many people tell you how to do, so you have to understand it. Now when we join these guys, uh, not, not set parent, just control J to join. Um, it, it should work fine. You notice that this mesh didn't pop all the way to the side. That's because it had, it, when the bones got baked, it was slave to that and also got baked. But it still doesn't have the object correctly mapped. So let's select our armature. And now let's go into our animation. Pose mode here. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of posing. Looks good to me. So I'm going to do these, these off-screen. You do not need to see me fiddle with this, because um, it's pretty tedious. And uh, I have to resize each leg, and I have to do a whole bunch of other things that are kind of annoying. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. Even a beginner can do this stuff pretty easily. Uh, so I'm not going to show you exactly how I do it. But um, I needed to show you how to create these duplicates and put them into the same bone mesh. Just remember to always apply all of your scaling and and uh, and movement before you join because those get applied kind of awkwardly if you're not careful. 